Hello again, everyone. It's Sunday. This is part three. Our coverage continues around the town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. The uh, Brantford Road Race back, back where it belongs, right here on Monowee Street. You see behind me the starting line, and it's the regular five mile run. This year it was restricted to 1,500 participants. And uh, the race passes through many of Brantford's scenic beaches, parks, and residential neighborhoods. We're going to show you the start of the race, which is coming up in 15 minutes. It's 9.30 right now. And we're also going to be at the finish line. So we're going to be bringing you all the action of the Brantford Road Race today. It is Father's Day, and uh, lots of fathers are here. Some are going to be participating in the uh, Brantford Road Race. As you all know, the Brantford Road Race has been around for many years. It was started by Dick Wayman and Ray Figluski. Ray is still involved with the race, and uh, I'm sure he's also glad to get this race back where it belongs. And um, it's very chilly today. The temperature right now is about 60, and it's very windy, very breezy, and so the wind chill factor probably brings the you know the the uh, the temperature feel down to uh, probably the mid 50s. So, I mean, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today, and I'm sure during the program you're going to see people wearing uh, jackets, coats, and hats because it's it's really that chilly. But great conditions for the runners. Nice and bright today, as bright as possible, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, just uh, a great temperature to run. Now, we're going to bring you a report from someone that was here last night about the entertainment, uh, but all I know right now is at around 8 o'clock last night, it began to rain. The crowd was here. They were looking forward to the two big bands that people were looking forward to seeing on the town hall stage, the uh, Legacy Theater stage for many years, the last th th three years in fact, and I understand that because of the rain there was no music last night unfortunately, but those, those bands will be back again for sure. So I hope to have a report from uh, a person that was here last night about uh, as to what happened. So anyway, um, the course today it's basically the same course and uh, here's the map uh, the map uh, what happens is it starts right behind me as you can see that red and blue line which is right in the middle of uh, Monowe Street and then it goes down Monowe Street under the underpass down 146 to South Monowee, still on 146, continues all the way down around Limewood Avenue, and then it turns into Hotchkiss Grove and runs along the water, First Avenue, and then onto Elizabeth Street down in Pine Orchard. It then turns onto Pine Orchard Road all the way up past the armory and then uh, turns right onto Monowee Street. And up on Main Street is the finish line, and uh, that is uh, right at Park Place and Main Street. So, I mean, we'll be up there uh, after the start of the race. So now, already today, there's been two events, part of the, the road race. There was the uh, Read to Grow One Mile Family Fun Run, which there's still some people uh, that are part of that, which are running by. That started at 9, 10 a.m. Then coming up in about five minutes is the two-mile health walk. And then at 9.45, which is a new time this year, the five-mile road race starts. And like I said before, right behind me is the starting line. Now, here comes a fire truck. It's being moved into position down here by the starting line. And usually there's uh, brief speeches from the speakers on top of that uh, fire truck uh, just before the race starts. So uh, all of those speeches we'll be bringing to you. So 
It's, um, it's another great day. Unfortunately, there was rain last night, which caused those two acts on the Legacy Theater main stage to be canceled. And there was obviously a lot of disappointed people last night, but today is beautiful. Here comes the uh, fire truck, the fire rescue number one from the uh, fire headquarters on North Main Street. And so it, these, you know, the speeches, I mean, usually we have a speech from Brantford's first selectman, Jamie Cosgrove. Usually we hear from Ray Figluski. And we also, almost every year, I believe, for many years, we also hear from United States Senator Richard Blumenthal. He used to run in the race. And uh, the last, I'm going to guess, three, four, five years, yeah. he's, he's been an, you know, an active participant. I mean, he's been an active observer. And so we'll see if he's here, and we'll try to talk with him if he comes to Brantford this year. So the action is shifting down here, and people are getting in line now. And again, this is the um, this is the walk that's going to be getting in about five minutes. The two-mile health walk. So there's a lot of action here on this program, part three of our coverage of the uh, Brantford Festival weekend, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Okay, it's just about 9:40, and the two-mile, uh, the two-mile health walk is just about to start from the uh, starting line, right behind me. And there's a lot of participants here for the fun walk. Uh, if you look over my shoulder, you can see a lot of people. So there's um, there's a lot of activity a lot of enthusiasm everybody's so happy to be back on the Brantford Green for the 2022 Brantford Festival so there are going to be speeches from the top of Rescue One which is uh, just over there to my right and you you're now listening to Ray Figluski who's on top of the truck He's going to kick off the fun walk. And then the road race starts five minutes after that. You're watching part three. Our coverage continues of the 2022 Brantford Festival. It is Father's Day today, June the 19th, Sunday. It's been a very successful weekend for the food vendors, for the children's rides, and the only problems were last night when the two main acts, the Queen Tribute Band as well as the Black Crows Tribute Band, both were canceled. It started raining at 8 p.m. last night. I believe there was a packed house on the Brantford Green, and um, people had to roll up their blankets, fold up their lawn chairs, and leave the green because of the, the water, because of the rain. I know the Brantford Festival has tried to get the Queen Tribute Band for three years in a row. Now they're going to have to wait another year to bring the Queen Tribute Band back. All right, it's just about to start the two-mile fun walk. There's Ray Figluski there on top of the Fire Rescue One. You see all the participants all wearing the uh, their um, uh, cardboard plates, you know, with their uh, individual uh, registration number. Uh, all participants today received a free breakfast, and they also get a complimentary brunch. Grand for police car coming with another one. Yes. Looks like they have a team. They're yeah. going to be the, uh, the lead vehicles on the, on the walk. It's coming up almost, almost 
So as you can see, lots of enthusiastic participants here in the two-mile fun walk. Parents pushing carriages <laughs> containing their babies. They're getting uh, people into the um, into the swing of staying healthy by you know through exercise. So that I believe is the end of the beginning of the uh, fun walk. Okay, can you keep the? If anybody's still walking, but raise your hand because you're walking. If you're walking, you're you're late. Come on to the start line. Let those folks through. The people who are raising their hands, let them through. Come on, guys, let's go. If you're walking, you're late. Come on. Okay, still some walkers. Anybody still walking? Come on to the start line. Let's go. Head out to the start line. Let's let these walkers raise your hand if you're still if you're walking. You gotta get to the start line. Keep going. You're already past. You're late. You gotta catch up to the group there. Anybody still walking? Start moving forward. Move forward, folks. Stay to your left. Stay to your left. Okay, so the fun walk is forward. still kicking off, and uh, right behind me now, the... Uh, They're all late. Come on, folks. You started three minutes late. Let's get to the start line. We're going to start the run in about three minutes. Start the, the run in about three minutes. The 1,500 uh, participants okay. today in the uh, five-mile road race are uh, now lining up Lewis, at the uh, starting line. We're going to be listening to a few, couple of quick speeches. I see up there on the truck uh, first selectman Jamie Cosgrove. I see um, our state representative Sean Scanlon. And uh, Welcome, everyone. here's Ray Figluski. Okay, a little history about the road race. It's uh, 1979. Ray Figluski and Dick Wayman started it at the Brand Haven Plaza. There were 600 runners that year. I'd like to thank Jamie, the town of Brantford, and our state rep here for letting this happen every year. Without their help, we wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be a sign hanging across St. Street either. And once again, we're going to bring you the action as the race starts within about a minute, Anybody and we're also going to bring you the finish line. Hey. Also up on the truck, 32 years, Dick Wayman, or not, <laughs> Ray Fikluski just said. Also up there is State Senator Christine Cohen and State Representative Robin Comey. So approximately 70,000 participants have been in Brantford Road Race events over the years. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were distributed to various Brantford organizations and charitable groups over the years. It used to be a 7.5 mile run, but it's now, it is now five miles. Really a very scenic route. People come here from all over the state, as the United States and internationally too. Thank you everybody for coming to Brantford today. Have a great run. Enjoy yourself. There's no better place to be. 
There's a lot of water stations too, as usual, set up along the route. Cups are filled with water and the, the runners uh, run by and just grab a cup uh, off the tables and uh, have a drink to cool themselves. And here we go. After the race, everyone's invited down to the Stony Creek Brewery as usual. They have uh, complimentary food and, of course, you know, Stony Creek beer down there. After they have the complimentary you brunch here in the green. Can we get off the truck? So since 1979, first it was the Shoreline Road Race and now the Brantford Road Race. There's a hush that's falling over the crowd. Everybody's nervous and looking forward to the start of the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who will win yeah. this year? People have been practicing for months for this race. There's people in this race that actually run every okay. weekend. All races all over the state and even throughout the United States. Is everybody ready? to 1,500 runners. It's a beautiful day. Terrific conditions for running. Lots and lots of people moving by. Everybody in really good shape. Been practicing for the race for a long time, looking forward to getting back to the Brantford Green for the Brantford Road Race. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful course that goes through the heart of Brantford, down along the shoreline. Coming up to the end now of the runners, 1,500 runners have passed us by. So uh, right now we're going to try to talk to some people and interview them and uh, still want to re report about what happened last night. So stay with us. Our coverage continues. It's part three of the Brantford Festival around the town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. Okay, I'm here with very distinguished representatives for selectmen for the people of Brantford. And I would like to you know, say hello to our, our state representative, Sean Scanlon. Good morning. Happy to be back at the Brantford Festival and the Brantford Road Race. Happy Father's Day to you. Thank you very much. Also to our state senator, Christine Cohen. N nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Happy to be here. Road race back better than ever before. So really excited. Beautiful day here today. It's true. You're absolutely right. Yep. Yeah. And also our state representative, Robin Comey. Good, good morning, representative. Good morning. It's great to be here as well. Thank you, Frank, for everything that you're doing. The festival weekend has been fantastic. And also our first selectman is with us, uh, Jamie Cosgrove. Great to see you, sir. Great to see you too, Frank. Thanks. It's great to be back here. Have the road race kicking off again, once again, from the Brantford Green, finishing off a great festival weekend. Uh, we had a great weather, uh, so it's, it's great to be here. Also, I would like to get a first-hand report, because I wasn't here last night. Would somebody please tell me what happened last night with the rain? What time did the rain start? I mean, were, were bands canceled? The, the uh, last act was, yeah, the, the Almost Queen uh, had to cancel, unfortunately. Um, 
yeah. because the rain started and there was a threat throughout the night, so they couldn't just postpone it. Um, so I think around nine o'clock they uh, uh, shut everything down. Roughly. But I'd say overall, this was a great weekend. I mean, people really were excited to be back here. I think you could see that from talking to people walking around. People are just psyched that the Brantford Festival is back. Obviously, we had a great turnout today at the road race. And I think that night aside, yeah. uh, it's been an incredible weekend here in Brantford. And so thankful to everybody for coming out. Yeah, yeah it's we, true. Were, we were at the um, the fried dough booth yesterday and the <laughs> lines extended back. I mean, we yeah. I, it, was, I, it was incredible to see so much energy. So like I said before, I really feel like the Brantford Fest is back better than ever before. We're seeing the crowds, the weather is cooperating. Today is like a runner's dream, I feel like, in terms of weather. So this is fantastic. It's true. Yeah. And also, um, also, what, the Alzheimer's booth, sure. you're at the, what's going on with that? Yeah, so today I am here with the Alzheimer's Association. We are raising awareness about the disease, and uh, we've got a table on the on the green as well, but also the town hall is going to be lighting up the, the front of the building all week in uh, purple in honor of Alzheimer's yeah. awareness, and uh, the whole month is, uh, as well, the rest of the month is going to be the Blackstone Library will be lighting up their building as well. So That's great. All I got to go race. All right. All right. <laughs> nice to talk to yes, you. Yes, good to see you. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Bye, everybody. Thanks for all the good things you've been yeah. doing. You're very welcome. Sweet and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Very happy to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Good to see you, Bramford. Yeah. Thanks. Have a great Thanks. weekend. Yeah. 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 See you, Frank. And all right, Jamie. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, sir. Happy Father's Day to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, so uh, there's the report that we were looking for all day about last night. Uh, Queen was the only one that was uh, canceled because of the rain. But everybody had a good time anyway. I think the food vendors stayed open. The food vendors are open right now, and uh, they'll be open until 4 o'clock today. So right now we're going to move up to the finish line, and we're going to capture the action for you as the runners cross the race here at the uh, Branford Road Race, part of the Branford Festivals. Oh, stay with us. Okay, so here's the, um, the finish line, and this is about number 10 coming across now. Uh, number 1270, Joseph Polinski. 729 is next. They all look in very good shape, but they're not breathing hard. You know, obviously they're experienced runners. Uh, the, I don't see any sweat. Mark That's because the, the conditions today are just uh, outstanding for running. Yeah, There's a big RPK. crowd here on both sides of Main Street. A lot of people Contesta. came out today. Everybody's happy. Great to be back here on the Brantford Green, as our first selectman, Jamie Cosgrove, Great said. Great job, everyone. Thank you to all the walkers and fun runners and runners for coming out today. We're really happy to see you. We're at uh, up to 27 and a half minutes now since this race started. So as the runners you, cross the finish the grow, line now, they get a complimentary Brick brunch. Stony Creek Brewery. And then they're Sound invited runner. down to the Stony Creek Brewery. Get the From 10 to 3, there's an event down there as there always is. There has been for the last uh, five years or so. And all the food vendors are still open today on the Brantford Green until 4 o'clock. And there's also entertainment. <laughs> so the Brantford Festival's back. Let's go, Mikey Dubs! Let's go! We're up to uh, 28 minutes now. A little background information on the uh, uh, three races. You did see the, uh, the, the beginning of the health walk. Okay, the health Another walk sound racer. Uh, was only for the 300 Stone people. Stone it's a non-competitive, and it includes park and river views. It's a beautiful course. The, the Reed to Grow One Mile Family Fun Run, which was limited to 400, Take it all the way home! had, had uh, the course for that was go go around the Brantford Green. Go! More runners now crossing the finish line, coming on a putting on a burst of speed at the end. And also there was an emphasis this year on creating an environmentally friendly event. There were no 
Plastic bags given out at the Brantford Festival. The RTM has passed an ordinance as well to prohibit the use of plastic bags. And um, paper bags were used instead for prepackaged food, recycled, and compostable cups at all water stations. And organizers eliminated the use of printed applications. Now this is the first woman crossing the finish line. You can see the line is being laid out there for her to cross the line. There it is. 29 minutes and 46 seconds. She did good. Very good. And um, two more women crossing the line. Number two, 1400, and 560, number three. I want to take a minute to thank our fabulous sponsors, Reading to Grow, H.D. Seeger, Stony Creek Brewery. After the uh, road race today, Connecticut Orthopedics, there will be uh, entertainment from Acoustic Soup, Classic Rock, Madison, Paul Merrick, Engineering, and other uh, songs Point, on the new Federal food Trent tent Indian. stage College Hunks, starting at noon. Music continues until 3 p.m. as this year's festival Signal, wraps up. Uh, that information I, I took from a great article that Legend Sally Bonner Eagle, wrote in the uh, Shoreline Times. Downrunner and CT Timbers. Uh, the um, the Reed to Grow Ben-Lord, One Mile Fun Ben-Lord, Run uh, raised funds for Camp Rising Sun, Notre Dame High hands. School, Let's and other, other community organizations. Straw finish, take it all the way home. Matt Sweeney. 1,500 runners Green. running today in the five mile race. Rick Shoot. I'm going to speak for just a moment to uh, Bill O'Brien. How was the, how'd the festival go this year, Bill? Uh, outside of the cancellation last night of the main entertainment, uh, almost Queen, everything, to my knowledge, went over very well. You know, I don't, I'm not in, in any kind of official capacity. I'm an ex-board member, but uh, I've participated since 1989, and I always come down with my camera, of course, and try to document things that are going on. So. I think from my standpoint, everything looked well. Friday went well. Uh, everybody loved watching the high school chorus uh, perform. And, you know, and the food vendors were all open and they were really busy. I went down there to get some food myself uh, a couple of times and the line was just too long for me to wait because I had other things I had to do. But, uh, you know, and yesterday, uh, I would think that the uh, function that was held on the green uh, for all the vendors and all went well. I, I came here and I saw a large crowd. I went on the stage and took some pictures of the, you know, many people that were, you know, supporting the, the vendors that were here and the we nonprofit organization. And uh, last night was good up until the rain came at uh, 8.30 and uh, they held off uh, to, to cancel it at 9 o'clock. They did that and that was the most unfortunate thing. But here we are today and what I think the runners would say is a perfect day. Uh, you know, the weather is fine and uh, a good crowd out here to support them. So, I would say overall, I'd give it a 95. Good job, Daniel. That's terrific. Now, you mentioned your pictures, Bill. If the public wants to see the pictures you take, where can they go to see them? Well, I'm surprised there's not more people taking pictures here, to be honest with you, Frank. Uh, I, I, now I've been doing it now since 1990, and there's always been a half a dozen people, some from the festival, some media people, and things like that. So I'm going to post my pictures on Facebook, uh, Bill O'Brien Branford. And uh, I'll probably do that uh, later this afternoon or you know, tonight. And uh, I'll put up two posts uh, uh, with a lot of pictures on there, probably 150 pictures. 
Um, other than that, I don't know how they do it. The, the, I will give the festival a copy of all the pictures I take, and whether they put them on the website or sometime, uh, th they'll make that decision. Okay, so if you, if you want to see all the Let's great go, pictures Teddy! that Bill takes today, Show this weekend, fish! and also throughout the year, many Branford events, Bill covers with great photographs. Go to his Facebook page, right? Bill O'Brien. Well, you're going to get this Jerry year's, Tyler, uh, this year's uh, festival Ryan. pictures. Uh, you know, it's not going to be any Daily. pictures from uh, years past. I did that last year, Frank. I posted, you know, after two years of not having any uh, festival, uh, what I did was I took pictures from as far back as I had digital pictures, not film pictures, uh, which was 05. And I posted a one a day for uh, until, uh, until the last festival, which was held in, what, 19? Yes. And, uh, and, uh, and I put up about 50 pictures of each of the festivals, but those are long gone now, so, yeah. But well, there's always good stuff going up there on the on his Great Facebook page. Finish, Bill O'Brien. Is that B I L L O B R I B L E N? E N. E -N. E -N. Okay, great. Well, it's great talking with you, Bill. Thanks for your Ball update. Ball Thanks for your take on the festival. Day. I mean, Let's I agree go, with you with, 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 with the 95. Uh, always a pleasure. Yeah, you, you, you too, sir. Thanks. Kathleen Shaw, Jerry Arsenal. Let's go. Okay, it's uh, 35 minutes now. So these runners are doing seven John minute Tucker. miles, which is Jerry pretty good. From Brookfield. Right, Luke Baca from Brantford. Amazing job, everyone. Michael Curley, Neil Boots. Great start to a great day, Keep Father's Day 2022. There's no place to be besides the Brantford Green today for Father's Day. With the food, the road race, the music coming up very soon. The entertainment resumes. Alexander Altermont. Robert Schwartz. Great job, everyone. Grand King, Melissa Emmerich. Andrew Conlon, thank you for volunteering. We spoke yesterday with uh, Alex Pelosi Jr., the uh, Parks and Recreation Director, and he reminded us that uh, Thursday nights are jazz on the Brantford Green every Thursday night. He's trying to expand that this year, he said. And uh, he mentioned that there was other activities on Wednesday night as well. But he showed us the, uh, the new umbrellas on some of the tables, the red umbrellas, up by the uh, Monoese and Main Street intersection, right by the bus stop. And they're open there all the time for you to come up and sit. There's tables and chairs on the Brantford Green as well, all over the green. Come up and enjoy your green this summer. Great place to sit, hang out. Ashley's is open. We have the Chinese takeout. We have a new uh, wine bar opening. You can go into the uh, Brantford Arts and Cultural Alliance building and see all the art. Uh, there's a lot to do here on Main Street. And be sure to take advantage of it here, right in the center of our town. We have an Archie Moore's as well. We have home, excellent food. Mark Cicero from We have the new uh, Darbar India Joshua moving uh, down uh, a couple Jerry. blocks down on a wheeze. That'll be great when that opens. We have, of course, Common Grounds. Always great for coffee and uh, pastries. Great place to meet your Nicole friends. Graham. Of course, we have the three churches right on the Brantford Green from the Brantford Baptist, First Congregational, and the Trinity Episcopal. Good job, Eva Ellis. Angel Lemon. 
from Brantford. Great job. Uh, still a small craft advisory out on the sound for uh, the last Michael 24 Mano, hours. It's Melissa been, been up because uh, of the wind. It's been kind of a cold start Julia to uh, May and June so far. Chris Hopefully Great the rest job. of the summer will be uh, nice and warm and toasty. Patrick Fryer from Brantford. Cosgrove first selectman said earlier that there was no problems, no trouble. The only thing that happened here, which we didn't like, couldn't control it though, was the rain last night, which canceled uh, the Queen tribute band. But uh, uh, Start Me Up, the tribute band, did play beginning at 7.30. And that was the tribute band for Ro the Rolling Stones, Black Crows, and Tom Petty, and I, I heard they were, did a great job, and the crowd was very well satisfied with uh, Start Me Up. But Almost Queen, which was under contract for the Brantford Festival, the main act for 2020, 2021, and now 2022. It did not go forward. 2020, of course, the whole festival was canceled due to the pandemic. 2021, they moved the festival to Festival at the Farm on East Main Street. There's number one that just crossed the line. And then 2022, they were just about to take the stage when the rain came down. And had, to, had to cancel their performance last night, but I'm sure they'll be they'll be back again. They'll be, they'll try for the fourth time. So now it's up to 41 minutes. These people are running eight minute miles. Mark Milano, Bobby Wallace from Guilford. And you know, as, as they run across the finish line, right? The best part of the race is when they stop. You know? That's the best. The best time for them is when they stop after the after running. So everybody's came back this year. Everybody was happy to be here. There were a lot of people were here this this year. It was really great. And it's gonna to continue until four o'clock today. Did you run in the race, sir? I did. What's your, what's your name? Tyler. How, how was the course, Tyler? It was good. It was fun. Some hills, some downhills. It was good. Now, um, you know, with the uh, cooler temperatures, with the wind and everything, I mean, it, it must have been great conditions, right? Yeah, it was perfect conditions for running, yeah. Yeah, it was ideal. Yeah. That's good, Tyler. Thanks for speaking with us. Yeah, of course. Waiting on my wife. Oh, she's in the race? Your yeah. wife? That's yeah. great. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, too, uh, just putting in a plug for uh, volunteers. Uh, you know, there's a lot of um, a lot of volunteers participate in the Grandford Festival. They make it happen every year. There will be, of course, another one next year, Father's Day weekend. And uh, you can get involved. Uh, there's all sorts of activities to pitch in on. And you can start by getting in touch with the Brantford Festival dot org. I spoke with uh, Representative Sean Scanlon before. I asked him about uh, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. And
and he said that he thought that he heard that uh, uh, there was some scheduling conflict that he had, and that's why that's why we didn't see him here at the festival this year. The new um, artisans on the green on Saturday went off well. Uh, Frank Carano helped organize that. Here's Rob Baldo, 1066, BCTV staff. He just crossed the finish line. He puts the finishing touches along with Doug Sisson on our programs around the town of Brantford with Henry and Frank, as well as other programs that you see on BCTV. They're both very talented. They both do a great job. Hey, 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 Mike. You made it, Mike. You made it. Coming up now in 45 minutes, these are nine minute milers. I got a picture. I got to send it to you later. If anyone would like to see the results, they will be posted at the registration tent. First batch are out right now. Isabella Pinta, Lauren Perinetti, Bob Gould, Josh Warren. Thank you all for coming up to run the Bradford Road Race. Our, we're going to take a break right now and we'll come back. So stay with us. Part three continues. Brantford Festival around the town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. Stay with us. Okay, we're coming up on uh, 54 minutes since the uh, road race started. These are nine minute milers now crossing the finish line. 1,500 uh, road race participants today. Really great. And uh, I, I would like to apologize. We did miss the first few runners today crossing the finish lines because I. I did not uh, turn the camera on properly, so I'm sure in future years we will capture, as we have for many years, captured for you the uh, first place winners. So anyway, it's been so great to be here with you, and uh, it's great to see the festival back. I mean, we did cover festival at the farm for you last year, but it wasn't the same. It was great to be there, though, but it was not a substitute like the, the Brantford Green. You know, there's no place else. There's no place like the Brantford Green. This is the home of the Brantford Festival for uh, 39 years, and it'll be home to the festival for many more. So uh, everything was great this year. There were no issues, no problems. As Bill O'Brien said, the food, vent food vendors were very crowded at long lines. The festival food was great. The they had the delicious fried dough and all the uh, great treats, ice cream, the Thai food. Of course, all the Italian goodies, you know, so great. So anyway, uh, it's been great for us too to be with you and to cover this for you. And um, we're gonna speak to, uh, just before we go, we're gonna talk to one more person. And uh, he's coming over right now. So I walked back behind me a few moments ago and uh, I saw the paramedics, the Brantford paramedics are back there. And they're all set you know, for any problem, any issue that could have happened here in the road race. So far, you know, their great services have not been needed, but they are here and they're, they're on standby in case. So we're very fortunate to have the great uh, Brantford paramedics in Brantford. And um, they do an outstanding job. And everybody has today, all the uh, public works and the police, uh -huh. and um, it's, all, it's all been uh, really uh, good. Sure, yeah. So, uh, Okay, so I'm talking with Rob. Nice to see you, Rob. Good to see you. This is Rob Baldo, 
He's been working with us for how many years, Rob? Uh, four, to, four or five years. Four or five years. We're, uh, we're going to lose him. How come we're losing you, Rob? Uh, I'm taking a job um, with a company called Scenic. Um, just moving up, I guess, uh, to a different position. Um, you know, I love my time at BCTV. It's been great to, you know, be with you guys and just throughout the years, just everything that we've done. and. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's been great. Now, also, um, I mean, to take the job, and for, uh, take this new job, you're going to be moving, right? Where, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to be moving to California with my girlfriend. What, so. what, what part of the state? Uh, to uh, Fullerton. Uh -huh. So, uh, like, southern area. So. Oh, that's great. Well, it's been great to have your, your talent and your services for the last four or five years, okay? And I want to wish you good luck out there, good health. And, you know, be sure to come back and see us and stay in touch, you know? For sure. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Rob Baldo on his way to California. But he could stay in the media business, which is great. So, uh, again, great to be with you all. And uh, as I said to Rob, good luck, good health, good fortune, and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, coming up on our... Around the Town series, we'll be, uh, we'll be going to the Brantford Garden Club. Uh, we're going to do a program with them coming up soon. We did a program with Frank Carano at the uh, Brantford Arts and Cultural Alliance. You're going to be seeing that, too, on Channel 18. And uh, we have some other programs in the pipeline. So, uh, great to see you all. And, uh, Keep your channel set to Channel 18 for public access. This concludes part three. And for Henry Pond, I'm Frank Tuga.